The Great Falling Away. Shandara Kura Sandara Kabavara Sandara Ki. Alokura Sandara Karasa. Oh, hallelujah. I'm out on a prayer walk and I'm getting revelation. And one revelation's coming to me so fast that I forget the previous revelation. And then I get another revelation and then I got to struggle to remember the revelation I had just a minute ago. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know why? Because these are the end times. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Now, Matthew chapter 24, verse 26. Not the first half of the verse, but the second half of the verse. Where Jesus says, If someone tells you there he is, speaking of the Christ or one that claims to be Jesus, okay, there he is in the inner room. Do not believe it. That is an end time. Claire is an end time fulfillment of that very verse of scripture. Matthew chapter 25 verse, I'm sorry, 24 verse 26. Well, then you got Matthew chapter 25 which brings us to another revelation. That five were wise and five were foolish and you who are lukewarm, God's going to vomit you up. And it all ties in together. So yeah, that's why I almost misquoted it, but it actually was God. And with such a clear verse of Scripture, such a clear prediction of the future from the words of Jesus Himself, and yet, they refuse to repent. They refuse to repent. They refuse to repent. And so there will be a great falling away. Jesus talked about many will turn away from the faith. And there's a verse of scripture that talks about a great falling away. And Jesus said that when persecution comes because of the word, this is in the parable of the sower. He says when persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. So there's a falling away, but there's a different, there's something else that also is going to happen. It's called a turning away. So one might fall away and feel sorrowful, sorrowful over it and sad. Why well, do I have to do that? I thought I, I really thought the rest was going to happen already. Now I'm just going to take the mark of the beef. Anyway, I'm going to give me a bowl of chili. Hey, Mama, can you also pick up a. A dozen Twinkies too? Oh, okay. Just saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just like totally had a vision. I was even seeing the guy while I said that. Like a big heavy duty dumpy. Nice guy. One of the sons of Eli. Big kind of heavy set. Nice Christian boy. But just lukewarm. Just... The far end of the spectrum. You know, you, you, you just love Joe Osteen. Matter of fact, if I lived in... See, I went to Houston. I went all the way to Houston to go see Joe Osteen. Now, is that something a lukewarm person would do? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Think about these Christians who travel over land and sea to go to visit Creflo Dollar's church. And if you really ask them why you're here, I just want the anointing. Well, when you really talk to them, they really just want the anointing for money. You got to narrow it down to what exactly, what exactly do you mean by the anointing? And so they travel over land and sea to win one convert, make him twice the son of hell. In other words, <laughs> Creflo Dollar goes to Africa, has a big revival, gets a bunch of disciples, brings them back to the United States, teaches them. His way of God, you know, his way of love of money, friendship with this world, Christianity. <laughs> Just saying. Well, I guess, is that a good deed or is it a bad deed? Would somebody please tell me? <laughs> it's like the spirit that followed Paul and, followed Paul around. I can't remember if it was Paul and Barnabas or Paul and Silas. And he kept yelling, 
These men are servants of the Most High God, showing you the way of salvation. Just, and the Bible says that Paul got so annoyed, he rebuked the spirit and cast it out. But after two or three days, probably Paul was confused. Is this thing of God? This, this, this spirit is proclaiming that we're men of God, sent to preach the gospel, you know, the, what, the way of God. <laughs> and ultimately, Paul has to cast it out, cast the thing out. Would somebody please explain that to me? Because the devil knows that no good tree can bear bad fruit. No bad tree can bear good fruit. Even the devil can't get anybody really saved, folks. If you preach the gospel all his life, not a single true convert, only seed of the devil. Just saying. But for those who love the Lord and called according to his purpose, and every tree that was planted by the Father... By the power of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the world cannot bear the words of prophecy. So many will hate. I don't like what he's saying. This guy's a false prophet for sure. Oh, I can't stand him. I know I don't like him now. You see that old Christian who never obeyed God, never served the Lord, never put God first. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Okay, how's that for a proof? What spirit are you of, brother? Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords, the Holy One of Israel. Does that answer your question, or do I need to explain it some more? <laughs> I still don't like you. You're wrong. I'm calling security. <laughs> uh, guys, just escort this young man out of here. He is not welcome. <laughs> Anyway, praise God. Jesus is Lord. Time is running out. Literally, a few months ago, I told a guy on the street, I said, Babylon the Great, oh, I said, America will fall within six months. Now, he just looked at me like he thought I was crazy. And I'm trying to remember the exact day that I told him that because I'm like, what? I'm trying to figure out when is this thing going to happen? So I had another vision. So if you've gotten this far in the video... I guess you're like the elite or something. I don't know. But I saw these dates. Now, months ago I heard before 3.30. I don't know if that's a time of day or a date. Then I see a calendar. My most recent thing that I saw. And it was February. I knew it was February even though I didn't see the date. I just knew it. And I saw 27th and 28th blacked out like they had big... Like it was blacked out. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like, okay, I woke up going, what in the world does that mean? <laughs> Lord, help. <laughs> like I have no idea what that means. I'm trying to figure it out. And you know, it's not unbiblical for a prophet to, or for someone to have a dream and someone else has the in interpretation. You know, like, uh, well, Joseph and Pharaoh. And uh, I believe Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar and Nebuchadnezzar, King Darius. Anyway, whatever. All right, praise God. I need to pray. I'm out here praying. I'm on my prayer walk. So it's back to me seeking the Lord and worshiping God. Y'all have to get, get alone with the Lord. Seek God and live. That's the word of today, folks. Seek God and live. Seek God and live. Amen.